Hello and welcome to this presentation. You are going to be learning how to fix beam design warning using Tecla Structural Designer software. If this is the first time you have come across our channel soft freezing, consider subscribing to stay connected with us, like the video, share the video as well with our colleague. Here we proceed. So this is the model we are going to be considering for this uh, warning issue in Tecla Structural Designer. So from what I have here, the first floor beams, second floor reinforced concrete beams, third and even the roof beams, almost all the beams as this warning. And then from the legend here, I'm having 303 warnings right here which is from the beams all right so basically we have to consist of uh, this warning in the class structural designer which i'm going to be explaining to us in this video so stick to this video till the very end so you have the complete knowledge of the causes of this uh, warning and how to resolve it successfully okay so let's start from the floor beams so from here when you have a warning like this what you need to do is to check the cause of the warning so for the floor beams i mean floor beams that actually support reinforced concrete slab so if i select on any of these floor beams for instance this one right here and then i right click on it in the drop down menu and navigate to the interactive design and then to statics click right there so now from the interactive design window from the u ratio i'm having here this is 0 0.534 less than one so the u ratio is very okay nothing is wrong with the beam now if i proceed to click on the check option from here so you can now see the warning sign right on these beams so if i expand this warning sign and then i come down you can see the cost of the warning right here slender spam issue okay so this simply means that the beam is a deep beam all right so if i select on this now i will have the information on the about the warning right here so the core information right here is that the edge which is the depth of the beam to the width of the beam which is the b is greater than two point you can see here is greater than 2.5 right here and this is an error code all right so this beam does not actually meet code requirement so that is why i always say that tecla structural designer check code properly so this beam have not meet code requirement and that is why we are having the warning so the code requirement that this beam is supposed to meet does not have anything to do with the beams in terms of its strength because we have actually checked the utilization ratio it is quite very okay so the question is how do we resolve this we have to increase the width of this beam so from here we have the width of the compression flange of the beam right here as 2 to 5.0 millimeters so we have to increase the width of this beam so this is the first cause of warning beam warning in the class structural designer so we have to resolve this so how do we resolve this we close this window and then we click on the ok from here to close that window if you escape from the keyboard you can still we still have the warning right there okay so now we want to resolve it by selecting on the beam just like this and then you navigate to the property window right here and then in the section provision click right here and i have various section i've created already okay for but if you want to create an additional section right here just click on the new edit and then you have this window which you can create as many sections as you killed for the reinforced concrete beam successfully i click on the cancel options and then from the section i have already i will choose 300 by 600 millimeter reinforced concrete beam section from here so once i've choose that and then if i select on the escape key if i escape from the keyboard all right 
I still have the warning, but select on that particular beam which you have actually changed the section. Right click and then go straight away to where you have design member statics options. Click right there. So that member has been designed successfully. If I move this this way and I expand this right here, you can see that I'm no longer seeing that warning because we have corrected it. If I click on the OK option from here and then if I escape from the keyboard, you see the beam have actually shown green, meaning it has passed design properly. And then in the info box right there, you see the U ratio 0.35. All right. So we have corrected this particular warning. So this same method you used to correct all of these beams at this particular uh, level, okay, that the beams actually support the reinforced concrete slab. Okay, but if you failed, you wouldn't want to actually change the width of the beam. Please do not change it because that warning does not affect the strength of the beam. Please, it doesn't affect the strength of the beam. Why do I say so? Because if you come over here and select on the beam, you can actually see the utilization ratio is 0 0.8 right here. If you check on this one, utilization ratio is also 0 0.8 right here. So it is a bit or somehow more than more than one. So the beam strength is still intact. It is still okay. All right, just that the warning is that uh, the code requirement actually suggests uh, that we have to meet up some uh, value, okay, which I've shown to us successfully. All right, so now other cause of warning, reinforced concrete beam warning in Tecla Structural Designer has to do with the uh, finite element analytical method. You know, Tecla Structural Designer uses finite elements to design the reinforced concrete slab and to decompose the, the loads from the reinforced concrete slab to the beams successfully. So, once any floor doesn't carry it, uh, reinforced concrete slab, you will notice that that particular beam that supports that floor will have some warning because that the finite element method does not does not really take place on that particular floor for instance the root beam right there if i select from this uh reinforced concrete slab statute right there you can see the numbers of floors that i have reinforced concrete slab but the roof beam doesn't have reinforced concrete slab so for that reason the roof beam will also be having uh some warning because finite element method of uh, decompositions of load does not take place at this root beam so if i select on one of these beams to actually confirm that i will right click and then i go to interactive design statics from here i click on the check options and then here is the warning i expand this now you see that i still have the uh i have slender span warning right there i also have axial force i have minor axis moment warning right here Okay, so if I expand this right here, you can see that I have three deep building analysis not really taking place as expected because there is no reinforced concrete slab at that level. And then over here, you see FE chest down, grillage chest down. All of these methods of low decompositions have not taken place because we do not have reinforced concrete slab on the roof level and so the roof beam is not supporting any slab and that is why you're having this warning okay for this particular warning the same way that we actually resolve the uh, story beams okay the floor beams the one that supports the first concrete slab is the same way you are going to actually correct this particular one but even if you correct this you will still be having this warning unless you apply a first concrete slab on the roofed beam and then you carry out the analysis again okay so that is the way to resolve and fix the reinforced concrete beam design warning using tecla structural design should you have any question that you actually want to ask drop it in the comment sections and in the description of this video there is a link for our group chat join our group chat where you can ask questions answer questions and learn Okay, 
So if you really want to understand this program, Tecla Structural Designer, I will invite you to join our, our Pro User Masterclass for Tecla Structural Designer. Also, we have an ongoing Pro User uh, Masterclass for Prota Structure and all of the software that we actually teach in this channel, Soft Reason. To reach to us, you can check the description of this video to get our contacts or any of our handle around our channel successfully. We'll stop here. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next presentation. Bye for now.